Hello again. Welcome back to our programming classes and today we shall be concerned with uh, looping. Looping is repetition. Repetition in programming is a scenario whereby the computer takes the powers of repeating something several times to give us a solution pertinent to that particular uh, algorithm. Uh, one example of repetition or repetition is in mathematics where we can decide that from number one to seven we want to perform addition so you start adding one plus one then you get two two plus two you get four four plus three you get seven seven plus four you get eleven and so forth and so forth until you finish and you get the result for summing that particular series and in front of us it is a program which will perform repetition. The key word for performing that repetition is while, which is in line number six. But just as all other programs that we have been looking at, we have the code on the left-hand side, and then we have the RAM diagrams, which are mimicking the way this code is executed in the machine on the right-hand side. So now what we see here is that line number one, of our calculator, which is just an addition calculator for a series of numbers, it has got the beginning of our program that is into main, and the line number two is the starting of the paragraph, which is ending at line number 14. So line number three is where exactly we start thinking about our program. Before line number three, if you look to, the, to your right hand side, you can see now the RAM of the computer is still empty, and it means the computer brain is not yet utilized. But now, when you declare int i, int n, the brain of the computer is now being utilized. Part of that brain, variables, or RAM, have been declared. And now you have got one part of the RAM that you have labeled i, another part you have labeled n, and they are reserved for you to use. So when you come to line number four, where we say it is in uh, the line for data initialization, it means n equals to 5, you have sent value of 5 into variable n. i equals to 1, the one number 1 has been sent into variable i. That is represented by this particular RAM diagram, up to line number 5. Now, when we come to line number 6, that's where the computer makes a decision of whether to repeat or not to repeat. So the computer is going to repeat what is within the parentheses from line 7 to, num uh, to line number 10. But the action is line number 8 and line number 9. These lines will be repeated only if the quantity which is in I is less than 4. Now, if you look here, you find that in I there is 1. 1 is less than 4. So line number 8 will be executed. When line number 8 is executed, it means that n equals to n plus, plus i. So n will receive what is in n added to what is in i. For now, you find that n has got 5, i has got 1, 1 plus 5 is 6. So n will receive the value of 6. Then the computer will go to line number 9 and do the following, i equals to i plus 1. What is in i? In i there is 1. Now, this 1 is added to 1 to get 2, and that's why you find here now that i is now having the value of 2. Now, the computer checks, is i less than 4? Is 2 less than 4? Yes. If that is the case, then the repetition will go back to line number 8. Line number 8 is n equals to n plus i. n is 6, i is 2. So n equals to n plus i, n will have to be equal to 8. That is line number 8 has been executed. But then it comes to line number 9. Line number 9, i equals to i plus 1. In i, we have got 2. 2 plus 1 will be 3, and for that matter, we shall end up having a 3 in i and 8 in n. 
So now the computer will check while i less than 4. In i, there is 3. Is 3 less than 4? Yes. Then repeat. The repetition will be on line number 8. n equals to n plus i. In n, there is 8. And in i, there is 3. So n plus i, that is 8 plus 3, equals to 11. n becomes 11. After that, the machine will go to line number 9. i equals to i plus 1. Now, in i, there is a 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. And for that matter, in i, we shall have 4. While in n, we shall have 11. Once the computer comes here, it will check. Is 4, which is in i, less than 4? That is, is i less than 4? Is 4 less than 4? 4 is not less than 4. And for that matter, the loop will come to an end. There is no more progress of change in the values of RAM. So the computer will jump into line number 11 to see out N and see out I. What we shall see is 11 and what we shall see here is 4. And that marks the end of our program, uh, which constitutes the worked example and the RAM diagrams. Now let us go and write this particular program into the compiler and see how it works. Thank you.